Hello ladies and uh, gentlemen. If you uh, don't know me, my name is uh, Red Guy, and uh, I am the person who created this mod. Desolate Expanse was a mod for Lisa the Painful, a game that came out in, I believe, 2014. And it is a game that I love very much. So, to sort of celebrate it, and to celebrate the fact that it's been about a year and a half now since I released this mod, I figure I wanted to do a little bit of a commentary with it, just to talk about the game, and, uh, well, to sort of give my perspective on it, and the mod itself, and its development. Without further ado, let's get this started. What a way to start a game. So, uh, yeah, here we are. I'm not going to be reading off the dialogue very much because, quite frankly, um, well, that's not really what I want to be talking about here. What I really want to be discussing is, uh, well, the mod itself and, well, this game itself, because there is a lot to discuss. I think one of the first things that I bothered to add was actually new lines of dialogue you can see from these guys. It isn't much, but the way I figure it, it adds a little something there. Very minor touches were made to the mapping. You can look forward and backward now, and you can also jump. Wanted to make the intro something a bit more, I guess, interactable for as little as that is. Um, talking to this guy will give us the option to skip the intro, and we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to keep going right, because I think I think it's good for us to see this again. Now, funny story with this guy. <laughs> I believe he's the only one in the mod who uses, like, this name text box thing. I don't think it's ever used again for anybody. I wanted to, but after a while I just kind of decided eh, it looks really, really clunky with the way this game looks. Even with all the patches, I, for some reason, always forgot to remove it. So now it's just him. This is such a nice walk, though. So many flowers on the way. It's almost like there's some kind of sim symbolism here. You know what I mean? Haha. <laughs> Ah, hello, man in a red suit. How are you doing? For now. To be fair, it's a pretty shitty house. I think the only thing I really changed about Marty here is the fact that I made his glasses more consistent <laughs> with the original game. By original game, I mean uh, what it's now called is uh, Lisa the First. <laughs> because his glasses are just pure black, as they were in that game. Other than that, I don't think the intro really had much that was changed about it. Baby! Makes a little noise. So cool. Lisa, the painful RPG, the desolate expanse, mod. And bam, we're now in the post-apocalypse. It's very blue. Oh god, it's the worst thing imaginable. A small baby. I'm just gonna toss it up in the air and uh, oh whoops. <laughs> It is funny how, even in this game's more serious moments, it still manages to squeeze in good jokes. <laughs> oh, this game is so, so stupid. 
You know, I know it's a small thing, but it has always annoyed me when there's no, like, forward or back facing frames for these. However, that is a very minor nitpick. <laughs> Why didn't I add any? <laughs> oh, it's too late now. You know, in retrospect, it's kind of funny. This game has, like, a weird fixation on nipples. Like, you see them everywhere. And I mean, like, everywhere. Not even, like, counting this. There's... <laughs> You can see it in all three of these guys here, and they are all across the game. It's actually a plot point late into the game. Like... <laughs> Austin, what's the deal with that? Where were you thinking? <laughs> I know I'm kind of undercut undercutting the tone of the intro a little bit, but... The way I figure it, this isn't a let's... <laughs> this is not a let's play. This is a commentary. Specifically for people that have probably already played this game. And if this is your first experience to it, then, uh... I... I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm sorry. Go, go... go play the game yourself, man. I, I'll wait. Alright, good. You're back. You know, this intro has never gotten old to me. It has always remained something really good. And that's why I think I didn't really touch anything about it. Because, like, what, I mean, what am I going to add to this? It's a very nice intro. Arguably, one of the best parts of this game is its setup. It's just, from here, until you get control of, uh, of Brad here again, it is just non-stop hitting you back and forth with information, good drama, and it's just nice. I don't know what else to say about it. Just... The music, no dialogue, that's all it needs. And thus, our journey begins. And there he is, baby! There's Terry Hintz! He's the guy everybody loves! He's the guy that everybody becomes friends with! He's so lonely! Let's leave him. Now that we're on pain mode, I can actually start talking about some of the things that I, <laughs> that I added. Come here, come here, little boy. Come here, cool creature. <laughs> oh, he's still a little bit buggy. Oh, poor boy. I think one of the first things about, like, early development of the mod was that, like, I wanted to sort of reformat some places a little bit. Well, not reformat, but reform them. This map was one of the first and, sadly, only real tests of this. Um, with new platforms at it that sort of just lead you up here. And after this, I never really touched touched many maps again, other than, you know, the new ones. I think it was mainly because of the fact that the way... The way Austin set this game up is just so annoying to deal with. It is so ungodly annoying. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So... With a lot of maps in this game, though, I did try to add more pl more uh, props here and there because I did feel like it was a little bit off. As for this... <laughs> parallax? Uh... <laughs> so... <laughs> a little bit of a... A little bit of a thing here. 
I think this parallax is meant to be a test that I wanted to do for like 1.1, but unfortunately never really made it in. I don't actually remember why it's here now, so uh, I'm gonna cut ahead because this is a little bit awkward. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're back to normal. You know what time it is. <laughs> Adding Bone Richards back into the game was just like another one of those like initial ideas I had and it just... <laughs> I don't even know why I did it, honestly. It's just like a lot of the early additions with DE were just to add in fun things. Alongside trying to rebalance things a little bit more. I am still proud about what I did with Cheese Legs, though. Because, in all honesty, he's kind of more useful than Terry at this point in the game. Oh, god damn it. I'm dead. What a classic. Can we give him a clap, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I remember now. God, like, there are just so many things I changed when it came to pain mode. And one of them was actually with, like, item drops. A lot of the things that, like, people held are, like, of less quality or less useful now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man, this is, this is gonna be fun. Thanks, Terry. <sighs> I just noticed he went behind the poster. Man, I really <laughs> made a lot of mistakes making this mod. But you know what? It was fun. As long as you have fun making it, that's all that matters in the end, right? And that people enjoy it, of course. All right, now we're gonna use this crow. Magnificent. You know, this guy has quite the name. And I think, <laughs> I think this game in general just has a lot of funny names for its enemies that a lot of people just probably don't pay much attention to. Oh God. Uh oh, he's getting serious. Ooh. So Bob. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god, we're still alive. How did we live? I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. What a loser. Hey. Not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your ass. Okay, okay, okay. Watch this, guys. This is this is really funny. This is really funny. Cue the laugh track. Uh, for a lot of enemies, there was something changed with them, and this can lead to uh, pretty funny things. But more often than not, it's pretty cruel for most people involved. When uh, when designing pain mode, the thing that came to my mind was that like I didn't want to create a mode that was like... I didn't want to create a mode that was just hard mode for the player, or rather, you know, edit pain mode to be that. I wanted to make pain mode into something that was just terrible for everybody involved. Like... This version of the game is just worse for everybody. And you can see that in a lot of the encounters in pain mode. You know, lighting effects like this don't really pop up much in painful. But when they do, they're pretty nice. So I suppose while we have the time, I might as well talk about something. There were a lot of things changed when it came to, like, even, like, the non-pain mode version of Desolate Expanse. Like, 
every move in the game got changed, I think, and... Oh, hi. I... Wait, are we in trouble? <laughs> um... Uh, I don't really want to do it, but... Uh, fuck it. Oh, you done goofed up. You done goofed. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh yeah, something I wanted to mention before we uh, move past it was the uh, the stuff with the uh, the faces here. It was an idea that I think was had very very late actually in comparison to most of the other things. It was also very very time consuming. Like I think there are what like three hundred of them, like absolutely insane number. I don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> God. Uh, even, even little jokes like that being changed really, really add to the experience, I think. I've had an argument for a long time with, like, other friends about this, but, like, everybody I've talked to never can seem to agree if, like, this pink thing on this guy is meant to be his brain or a hat. Personally, I think it's a hat, but honestly, eh, who knows? Different people will give you different answers on that. Oh, look. It's... <laughs> it's the main villain, everybody. It's the main villain. Oh, wow. Woo. So cool. I think when approaching, like, adding stuff for Columbo, one of the things that always kind of weirded me out was, like... How not really used he is. After this, like he pops up, he pops up like two more times. Once in like area two, at the very end of it, and another time in area three, optionally. It's weird. It's weird, man. He's a fun character. We're gonna have to give up all our belongings because cheese likes is too valuable. My doggy. Oh wait, I was wrong. I think that, uh... I think, yeah, this map also had some little edits made to it. Surely it can't continue much more, though. There wasn't very many. I think this guy was given less warning for that happening. You. What a shame. <laughs> I never have understood why exactly that corpse says it. Pretty funny, though. Oh! Huh. That doesn't happen from the other drop. <laughs> 